How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Blade Bias. I haven't uploaded in a hot minute. My my dearest apologies. Um, but I wanted to talk quickly about the swordfish. Because I just got this in not too long ago. Um, I did have to do some trading for it. I didn't buy it entirely out of pocket. I got this from Galactic Guzzler on Instagram. Super cool dude. Super nice to do deals with. If you have any uh, deals with him... Uh, definitely, definitely go for it. Even though he was a super busy person at the time while we were doing this this little trade, um, even though he was super busy, he managed to get it out as soon, like the next day after I officially got it from him. So yeah, super, super good to do business with. Super cool dude all around. So yeah, the swordfish. Of course, you guys may remember I Ted let me borrow his quite a while ago, and I really, really like the swordfish. I had a lot of good things to say. And it has only gotten better since then because the one thing Ted didn't give me is, well, the one thing Ted didn't give me is the weights for the swordfish. He, he forgot them sitting on his desk when he let me borrow the swordfish. Um, so I, I made sure that if I was going to get a swordfish, I wanted to have the weights so I could, I could experiment and I could try it. And now that I have the weights, I can say that it makes a huge, huge difference on how the swordfish flips because... The swordfish with no weights, which is the one that Ted originally let me try, is good. It is good, don't get me wrong. But it's not for me. It's just a little bit, it just kind of slides out of my hands a little bit with no weights. It's a little weird. With one weight, it's kind of the same deal, but it's a little better. But a fully weighted swordfish is where I really have the most fun. And if you know me, you know that my favorite trainer really ever is the the Kraken trainer just the regular stock Kraken trainer which is um, which is a very similar experience that was very sloppy which is a very similar experience to the fully weighted swordfish which is probably why I like it so much now I'm not gonna go over everything in this video because I did just make a full swordfish video on the main channel, which uh, is always, always linked in the description. So please go check that out if you have not already. Um, but other than that, the swordfish has only gotten more fun for me because I added the weights. And also I now see the appeal of flipping it in public because I work in a public space and if I were to flip in public, I would get in trouble very, very quickly. Now, here's one thing. Tolerance on the swordfish, so this is starting to uh, loosen right here, which I talk about in the main video. I am not a Chanwich fan. I'm going to be 100% transparent with you guys. I think Chanwich is the worst out of the three options because you get the negatives of both without many of the positives. So you get the tolerance issues and tuning issues of sandwich, which stuff like this happens. If one of the screws come loose, then the whole thing gets thrown out of whack. And then you also get the slipperiness of channel, which is not too bad on the uh, on the swordfish here because it is because it has this big ass speed channel there. Uh, but if this was flat, you get the same slipperiness of channel battle songs without the durability of channel battle songs and without the grip or the, um, well, you get the ease of tuning, not ease of tuning, sorry, the ease of assembly like a sandwich ballast song, but the biggest one is without the extra grip that sandwich ballast songs provide, and it's just, it's just like, I don't really see the point in making sandwich ballast songs, I don't really get it, um, I really like just regular, or sandwich, sorry, I don't see the point in sandwich ballast songs, I really like just regular sandwich ballast songs, that's kind of my favorite, favorite way to do things, um, but tuning wise, uh, my screws came a little loose down here, but even then, even with loose bottom screws, it still doesn't really tap. The only noise you're hearing is that now that the screw is loose, the weights are wiggling around a little bit. Might be able to hear it there. Uh, that does happen when the screws loosen. Uh, I just need to tighten it. I just left my driver inside. It doesn't loosen often. That is actually probably the first time that it is uh, just like casually loosened on me, which is unfortunate because of course it's in a video talking about it, but that is something to be aware of it will eventually happen, but you can just tighten down or put some, some Teflon tape. I would advise against Loctite because I hate Loctite, but Teflon tape works very, very, very well to keep everything secure, but not permanently locked together. So the swordfish, 
Like I said, I flip in public a lot, so the non-threatening design and the ability to change it and rebalance it to whatever I like it to be is very, very appealing to me. And I think the pinsless aluminum system is pretty cool. Um, again, check out the video I put on my main channel because that goes into the durability of the swordfish. But this is, it's pretty chewed up and it still has decent handle gap. You can see the um, the actual pin area there is is pretty eaten up and definitely worn into but it's not unflippably bad like it is i feel like it's at the uh the worst it's gonna get when it comes to like handle gap and damage issues and stuff the blade has not bent the blade obviously has not snapped um i know a lot of people were worried about that when the swordfish first came out was the blade like bending or snapping because it is just an aluminum blade that does not happen um it is still perfectly straight um, so durability of the swordfish is really, really good. Uh, and yeah, I really, really like my swordfish. I think it's very fun. It's a very enjoyable trainer to flip. One of my favorites right now for a multitude of reasons, but yeah, that's kind of it. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely. I don't have too much to say in this video because I already got my full thoughts out when it comes to the swordfish in the video I uploaded on my main channel. So definitely go check that out. Link is always in the description and I will... Talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out.